Okay, so the two are going into the list of the top end luxury cars, and these cars are really, really loved by Nigerians. So, in this video, I'm going to tell you why these cars are loved by Nigerians. And if you just stumbled on this video, this is Giddy Cars, where we do car reviews, car comparisons, and other car content. So, click on the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you'll be the first to be notified whenever we drop a new video. G-Wagon was actually built to be a military vehicle. Then 1979, the first civilian G-Wagon was made. And for 40 years now, we have the 2020 G-Wagon. And as you can see, there's been a lot of upgrades here. You see the body in the house, and of course, that will make this car look more beautiful, more elegant. Here you have the beautiful looking headlights. You have a better suspension, beautiful looking grills, and this car looks much, much better. The 2020 version. So I'm going to take you a tour on the exterior. Come on. Okay, so this car has 22 inch alloy rims and you can see how huge the tires are and here you have a 9.5 inch ground clearance you see so much and this car will cope on any terrain this is a perfect off-road car you know driving in nigeria is particularly off-roading because we really have bad roads everywhere so if you drive this car as a daily driver in nigeria you shouldn't have any problems you cope on any terrain you come up on any terrain without a single scratch even in your <laughs> Right here at the back, we have upgraded tail lights, as you can see. And the position of the camera isn't here anymore. Instead, they brought it down here. See? So when you just put the car on the bus, that pops out and you have access to your camera. So inside the trunk, the trunk lid opens all the way so you can just slide in your things easily. It has a privacy cover and some lighting inside. And this door is really, really heavy. You have to slam it out for it to close. Come here. This car puts out a lot of power. As you can see, you have the two exhaust pipes here, the same thing on the other side of the car. So there you guys, you have four exhaust pipes on this car. So this car looks really, really aggressive. So as you can see from the front, you just take a step back and take a look at this car. It looks really, really good. The presence, it signifies those now, words, power, echo, that's what's talking. That's why a lot of guys want to move this car and just, you can see, the wheels, the juice tires, the fender flares and everything. Just imagine you bring up this car to family gathering, meeting, or, or it gets together, you're going to be the top of that because this car looks really, really elegant. So, who else is on the wagon? Like, who? The Under the hood, you have a V8 by turbo engine that puts out 525 horsepower and 677 pound feet of torque. And as heavy as this car is, weighing over 5,850 pounds, this beast can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4 seconds. 4 seconds for something that weighs this much. That's incredible. So now let me show you what this engine sounds like. So now this is what a V8 by turbo engine sounds like. Come, come closer. Just listen. <laughs> sounds incredible. Now let me take you to the back. Let me show you how the reverse camera works. The one I talked to you about. Just see, when you put the car on reverse, this opens and the camera pops out to show you the surroundings so you can park or you can reverse well without colliding with any other car. This is incredible. Say this always never up. Oh. So <laughs> it's really really tasking getting into this car because this car is high. So at the back here you have seats that will comfortably sit three people because there's no transmission up here at all. Then I am like 5'11, I'm now up to 6 feet here, so and I have enough headroom. So, someone above 6 feet will just sit comfortably here with enough headroom. But the knee room is kind of a problem because it's kind of tight. You get so, someone above 6 feet will kind of struggle and scuffling here. Here, you have rear air vents and you have some controls here. But one thing about this car is that sitting at the back won't be really fun at all because this car is not meant to chauffeur you around the city. You're meant to drive this car to know how it feels like. And that is why Mercedes put most of the fun items in the front. Which I'm going to show you now. So now, let's go to the front. Okay, so getting into this car at the front, pay attention to this. When I, when I lock the door, you hear this click sound that Mercedes has retained, even with all the upgrades they've made to this car. And look, listen, just listen to this. When I click on the lock, you hear that sound click. <laughs> I just really like the sound of that. So now on the inside, you have this red and black leather seats. That feel really comfortable and they also have heated and ventilated for the back passengers and in the front passengers you have the performance steering wheel with paddle shifters and the front here you have the mbux 
um, infotainment screen that is the Mercedes-Benz user interface which has a 12.3 inch infotainment screen the one here that's divided is for the gauge clusters only and right here you have another screen for the multimedia and some other information and to control this one here is a button here so you see it's like a sensor just slide over it and you can just change choose options and to control the one here there's another sensor here see you can just to do that and now if you come down to here you see this button that shows dynamic so what this does is you can change the driving modes of this car so if i just shift on this now you're in comfort when i shift again individual shift again slippery okay now you have sports and when i put this car to sports plus notice how it opens up the exhaust pipes and it sounds even better did you hear that so now when i rev it it keeps this car in it sounds it sounds gives me autism well now let's go back to review so now here you have a moonroof which is manual you have a frameless rear view mirror of the visor you can actually slide this weird see this and here you have this touch pad and this swivel here that you can also use to control the screen so you see let me take that to home see you can also control this and now i really like this air vents here right here you have this gloss black open you have cup holders close the back and here you have storage with some usb ports in it see so you can close them individually and there are a lot of buttons here this is to open your exhaust and here you have camera you have low range you have traction and you can stiffen the suspensions with just the click of one button here depends on where the terrain you're on so this car feels really really good i like everything about this car even with this black coating everywhere and bombester sound system yes i did i forgot to mention that the sound system in this car sounds really premium and as you can see everything on the car also feels premium there's no cheap plastic everything here feels good so when you're actually spending a lot of money in this car you know you're spending your money for for a good thing so in general i'll call this car the boss of the world because in terms of performance and everything this car is just really good 100 and now you know when nigerians really like g wagon nigerians like me because i really really love this g wagon so a very big thank you to me for Autos for allowing us to review this car today and so guys go follow us on instagram just there's a link down below click a link and you go follow us on instagram for you to get more car related content on our instagram click the subscribe button i need it to go click the subscribe button and click on the bell notification button so you don't miss any of our new videos when you post one see you next week